So I'm Alex, the, the company is actually Connectify, the product is Speedify. Uh, so I'm here because our smartphones today do a terrible job of juggling the Wi-Fi and the LTE. Right? And, and you see this all the time, right? If you're in your house and you're doing a Skype call and you walk out and you change to LTE, and you've been on the internet the whole time, you just change networks, guess what? You just hung up on your customer. Yes. Uh, if you're you know, streaming video, it's the same thing. You, you change from one network to the other, you get a different IP address, that's the end. Every socket, every download is edited. Two, you can't tell if the Wi-Fi is a bad Wi-Fi hotspot until you've joined it. And once you've joined it, you're on it, and guess what? You're disconnected from the internet. And you say, stupid thing, and you turn off the Wi-Fi. So you get back on the internet using the cellular, and now hours later you get home or you get to work and you're on a good Wi-Fi network and the Wi-Fi is turned off. You forget you did it and you end up using all this mobile data when you're just sitting there. Uh, it's, it's terrible. And it, it's true on um, every platform. iPhone, the Android, nobody has this solved. And of course, I think it is a problem for me, the consumer, but it's also a problem for carriers, right? Carriers really want a Wi-Fi offload. Uh, users just keep using more and more users. First they're browsing on their phone, then they're streaming audio, then they start watching movies, and now the latest, you think of Facebook and Periscope, now they're sending live video. Right? And sending live video is the worst. Not only is it super high bandwidth, but you know, if the socket gets broken, everyone gets disconnected. Now, at least with Netflix, they queue up a minute or two so you have a chance to fix things before the user notices. You know, they want rock solid internet and high bandwidth all the time. And even for the carriers, sell your costs money to deliver at a much higher cost per gigabyte. So Wi-Fi offload ought to be a win-win. Right? Consumers don't care where bandwidth comes from as long as it works and they get a huge bill. Uh, and carriers are much happier if the data goes over Wi-Fi. But it just doesn't work for those reasons I talked about. Right? Anytime they change IP addresses, every socket's broken. Every time they join a new hotspot and it turns out to be a bad one, they're not completely off the internet. So we fixed this with our new app called Speedify. And Speedify is a channel bonding software pack. It runs in the background on your phone, and for every single packet that's sent over IP or IPv6, it gets to pick which internet connection it goes over. So a single socket can be moved from one to the other, or if you're doing something that uses a lot of bandwidth, it can actually spread a single socket across both connections at once. Um, so it's really smart. Uh, because we're in this position, we're looking at every packet and, and doing lots of statistics, which I'll get to in a minute, to make it work. It turns out we realize what packets are missing long before you know, TCP does. And so TCP is the reliable internet protocol. It's used for most downloads and stuff. And it guarantees the packets are delivered in order. This is the protocol you use for related stuff, for instance. But if a packet disappears, it doesn't notice for a while. And it can't deliver any of those other packets that showed up afterwards because it guarantees they're delivered in order. So on TCP, if you lose 2% of your packets, your bandwidth falls in. And it's just disastrous. And on Wi-Fi, unfortunately, it happens a lot. If you're at the edge of range, you'd be losing 10% of packets. And your internet speed slows to a crawl and you don't know why. We just fix it. We notice every packet missing long before anyone else just sent it again. So we, we fix things up. And it's cost aware. The software is completely aware that Wi-Fi costs much less than cellular. So if what you're doing fits on the Wi-Fi, just do it on the Wi-Fi. 